Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. And if you're looking in the background, this is a playground slide. A user said, hey, how about we make a playground? So this was part one. Friends, I'm back to do part two. So let's get cracking. All right, friends. So the first thing I want to show you is that we can edit the grid. So we've got more space to play with. Currently, we're doing millimeters and 200 by 200. Let's backspace and make that 500 by 500. So we could make a full-size playground with everything we wanted when we were finished. With our slide in place, friends, let's make a teeter-totter. All right, so let's create our simple little teeter-totter with the roof. When you bring it out, make sure you look at it from a corner and rotate it the way that you want. I'm going to just show you that the rotation, if you stay close, it uses those nice tick marks to get to 90 degrees or variations in between. If you move away from this shape, it goes one degree at a time. I want mine in this direction. I'm going to change it to 10 on this side. And looking at how high my slide is, I'm going to keep the rest of the measurements. Trying to get my scale kind of accurate, but we're also just having a lot of fun here as well. I'm actually going to make this a little more fun by making it 15. You want your teeter-totter to go up in the air a little bit. The teeter-totter needs to be able to rotate. We're going to do that with a cylinder. I'm going to click on the work plane, click on this face, and then when I bring the cylinder out, it'll be the way I want it oriented, which is on the top. I'm going to use one of my favorite tricks, which is shift and then drag. And what that does is move every measurement the same amount. I'm going to change it to 5 and press Enter. Because I've got this work plane attached, I can simply click on the shape and use the arrow keys to move it down a couple millimeters. And then I'm going to push it with the handle all the way through. I want it to stick out a couple millimeters as well. And then I'm going to grab the handle and stretch it across. I missed, so I'm going to do undo, which is control Z. You could also click the button. Let's make sure I get in there and fit view so I can find this handle to stretch it longer. I'm going to use minus to zoom out. You can also use your scroll wheel to zoom out. And notice I've got that about perfect. You can make sure it is perfect by clicking back on the work plane, grabbing both items. Notice it says two shapes, clicking a line, and I want the green piece to be what I'm going to call the master. And boom, it is now centered. I'm going to add another cool feature to the cylinder. I want it to have a bevel of two and I want it to have segments of five. So it kind of rounds that end and looks a little bit more awesome. Let's add the board that we sit on real quick. I'm gonna bring it out and I'm gonna make it 15 across. And then I'm gonna stretch it out a long ways and then change it to 110. And then I'm gonna change the thickness to three millimeters. I want it to be a little rounded so kids don't get hurt on it. So I'm going to change the radius to two. And I like that. Let's use another super cool selection technique. Let's hold down shift and click on the two shapes. Notice it says two shapes. And when we hit align, right now it's trying to guess what we want to be the master. We're going to pick the orange piece. So now we can say we want it in the middle this way. If we look at it quickly from the left, you can see it just went middle. And then we also want it in the middle right here. And then you want the middle this one as well. So our board is in the right spot. We just need to get the right angle. The nice thing about this is it rotates around the middle. And this time you do want to go out probably because the first tick mark, if you're staying close to the shape, puts it underground. So I'm going to find one that's close. And I'm happy with that, although I think I'm going to rotate it one more degree. Yeah, that's even better. Let's real quickly cut out a spot for our legs. Uh, set the work plane back to the flat piece. Bring out a whole cylinder. Put one on the left. Hold down shift and squish it. Let's type the number 12. Do control D so you have two of them and move them apart from each other. And then I'm just using the arrow keys to nudge them where I want. 
And then to make sure it's lined up perfect, I'm gonna do Shift Select. So those two shapes are now grouped. And then I'm gonna Shift Click our teeter-totter board. And I'm gonna do a line. I'm gonna say the board is the master and I wanna make sure they're centered. And they were. Now I'm gonna go back to the back edge. So see how that lines right up? And I'm gonna push it up 10 millimeters. The slick way is to switch to a five millimeter snap and just go one, two clicks. Now, if we look at this quickly from the side, you can see it's above the board. We're gonna use the cone or control down to push it through the board. So it's gonna cut that out. We want one up here as well. So before we go any further, hit duplicate and we can just use the arrows to move it to the other end nice and quick. I'm not quite perfect over here. I'm gonna zoom in and show you how it's just a little bit off. I'm gonna switch back to the one millimeter grid and I'm gonna nudge it back until I'm happy. That's good. Now I'm gonna do my 10 millimeter or my five millimeter grid and nudge it twice. Let's fit to home, set the work plane back to the ground just so we don't have that orange. And now let's group these two pieces plus hold down shift and the third shape. And you can see now you've got a place to put your legs when you're on the teeter-totter. The last part of our basic teeter-totter is a handle. Once again, work plane, click here, cylinder, bring it out, hold down shift, shrink it, change our grid back to one, and let's type the number three for how thick we want that to be. Lift it up, I'm gonna type uh, 12 for my height. I'm going to change the roundness to 64 so the sides are more smooth. I'm going to do duplicate and I'm going to zoom in on the shape so you can see this better. Let's do minus a couple clicks so we can rotate that second one 90 degrees. Turn on the bevel on this one. I'm going to type that number two and I'm going to raise it up so it is a handle that everybody can grab onto. I'm gonna quickly turn the bevel on for this one as well. That way you won't be able to see where it enters. And that's pretty darn slick. Even change that so it looks a little bit more smooth. I'm gonna take those two pieces. Notice I'm just grabbing them. You could also do the shift select and I'm going to group them. And then let's align it by doing shift select, align, click on the actual board and choose middle. Let's make sure it's lined up perfectly by bringing it to the back edge and then use our same trick we used before where we nudge it up. Only this time we're going four clicks. And then I'm gonna do control D and I'm gonna move to the other side and do the same trick. Once again with that sweet fit view, turn around, switch the grid to size one. That's close enough. And five, and then one, two, three, four. Fit view, check it out. We have just made an amazing teeter totter. I'm gonna change some colors real quick. I'm gonna make these a gray and a gray. Make the centerpiece a blue. And then remember you can group it all so it stays together. But then when you're finished, so that it doesn't pick just one color, turn on the sweet multicolor. If you decide that your teeter-totter is too large, I'm gonna set the work plane back to the ground you can grab the teeter-totter and you can hold down shift and shrink it till it is the exact size that would fit your playground. Alrighty friends, so there we've quickly learned how to make a teeter-totter. We've learned how to make our playground larger. And then I'd like to challenge you to find crazy things like maybe going down to the featured and adding springs so that it's got shock absorbers. Maybe add a seat belt, maybe add something that makes it more safe for everybody. But see if you can come up with something crazy and epic that you add to your teeter-totter. And also see if you can add the next playground piece before I actually create it. 
As usual, friends, if you make something amazing, please take time to share it with me. You can do a screenshot at Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. You can also send a link to HL Mod Tech. Don't forget to do the link. It is simply the send to command. Scroll down, invite, generate a link. Copy that and email that to me at HL Mod Tech. Maybe I'll even highlight what you created in a future video. Of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.